Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Bruton, an associate professor in the Department of Radio Television in the College of Mass Communication and Media Arts at Southern Illinois University Carbondale. I'm here to tell you about a course that I'll be teaching called Alternative Media, one that I'm very excited to teach and I'm quite passionate about because I've been studying alternative media and I've been involved in alternative media for about 20 years. Most of my work focuses on Southeast Asia and primarily the countries of Burma, also known as Myanmar, Thailand and the Philippines, but I also study alternative media in the United States. Alternative media are a global phenomenon, but what exactly are they? Well, this is a matter of debate and it's one of the first things that we'll be talking about in class. But generally, alternative media are understood as alternative to state-run media, and this is especially important in countries that have been authoritarian. But also, alternative media are seen as alternative to commercial media, and this, of course, is more important in those countries where commercial media are the main media sector. There are a wide variety of alternative media. Perhaps the most obvious recently are the media of the Occupy Movement and the Arab Spring. And these are examples of transnational networks that involve small groups of uh, media, media and media collectives around the world. This kind of transnational network really arose after, during and after the 1999 battle in Seattle. This was the large protest that took place in 1999 against the WTO in Seattle, Washington. And this was the event that gave birth to one of the first and largest uh, transnational uh, media movements, which is indie media. But alternative media also include many small rural media small collectives of groups that maybe aren't connected to anyone else and are really focused on their own local communities. So who should take this course? If you're interested in media, you should take this course. Because even if you're interested in commercial media or state-run media, it's really important to understand the impact of this alternative media sector. This sector is becoming more and more powerful and more and more important, and we actually see its influence even in large policy-making bodies such as the United Nations. So this will be very important for anyone interested in media. But also anyone interested in social change or social justice, because these media are often focused on social change and social justice. What will you gain from this course? Well, in addition to understanding the broad variety of alternative media that exist in the world, you'll also gain a thorough understanding of the theories. Uh, this sector really hasn't been theorized until about 20 years ago, so it's a fairly new field. But there are quite a number of people who have been working on this field of alternative media, and those theories will be a focus as well of what we do. You're going to gain a lot of skill in reading and synthesizing a large amount of information, which is a skill that's valuable for anybody in the era of information overload in which we currently live. So you'll be reading quite a bit about these media, and you'll be asked to engage with this reading on a weekly basis. You'll be pulling out themes from these media and the readings about these media, and you'll be synthesizing this with weekly responses, written responses to the media and the readings. You'll be watching and uh, looking at quite a wide variety of these media and responding to that as well. Uh, in addition, the course involves three mid-sized mid papers, 10 to 12 page papers. Each week we'll engage with a certain theme. For example, we'll look at the relationship between alternative media and the state. And we'll look at the relationship between alternative media and the market. We'll also look at the ways that alternative media involve the formation of identity, both at individual and collective levels. And we'll be looking at how alternative media and religion interact. I hope my explanation of this class has piqued your interest and that you're thinking about joining us. This is a fascinating sector of media. It's increasingly important and it's challenging a lot of common assumptions, not only about media, but about the world in which we live. So if this is something of interest to you, I do look forward to meeting you in class and having you join us. Thank you.